Hi everyone, <clears throat> we're continuing our Principle of Mathematical Induction Part 4. Uh, parts 1 and 2 are a little bit easier, so these are the harder ones. We're going to check for, this is our um, um, sequence, uh, and then we're going to um, check for, um, to see if it holds for condition 1, for n equals 1. We plug in 1 in this section here, and it should equal 1 cubed, which is 1. So we're going to plug in 1 everywhere. We get 1 fourth times 1 squared times 1 plus 1 squared. So that's going to equal 1 fourth times 2 squared, which is 4. So that all equals 1, and it checks. Okay, now we're going to check for condition 2. And we're going to check for uh, k plus 1. But first, we're going to write everything um, with k. So you write 1 cubed plus 2 cubed plus 3 cubed plus dot, 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 plus k cubed plus, um, equals 1 fourth k squared times k plus 1 squared. Now, we're going to check for the next term. So the next term from k is k plus 1. So you're going to copy everything down again. So that's 1 cubed plus 2 cubed plus 3 cubed plus dot, 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 plus k cubed plus k plus 1 cubed. And on this side, this will be 1 fourth times k plus 1 squared. And this is going to be k plus 2 squared. All right, so we want it eventually, when we're done with our algebra, to look like that. Now, this part here equals 1 fourth times, that's why we copied this, this line down twice. So we know this is 1 fourth k squared times k plus 1 squared. And we're adding k plus 1 cubed. And now we have to clean all that up. And so we're going to go ahead and do that. And we get, um, I have this written down. So basically, I'm going to write um, plus k plus. So we're going to get 1 fourth k squared. Um, so this all equals, I'm on, this, I'm on the wrong line. So this all equals k plus 1 squared. I'm factoring out the k plus 1 squared because it's in both parts. Then I'm going to, when I factor it out, I'm just going to get 1 fourth k squared plus k plus 1. Basically, I took this piece and this, this piece here and just factored out k plus 1 squared because they're common to both, the greatest common factor. Now, I'm going to go ahead and factor out the 1 fourth. So I'm going to bring it out. When I bring it out, because I want to bring it out because it's out over here, I'm going to write this 1 plus 1k squared. And then I'm going to have to write this as k squared plus 4k plus 4. And just think, if you multiplied this... Um, if you're having problems with this, just if you multiply it back, you should get this. All right? So basically, we're just dividing everything by uh, 4 or 1 fourth. <clears throat> or you could say we're multiplying it through. So now we're going to factor, and I'm going to get 1 fourth times k plus 1 squared. And then I'm going to factor, this is going to be k plus 2 times k plus 2. I'm basically factoring this. And that yields 1 fourth times k plus 1 squared times k plus 2 squared. And that does equal what we wanted right here. And so it checks. It does hold. Conditions 1 and 2 do hold for this. Okay, the next one we're going to do is, I have it here, 
we're gonna do this one very similar. No, not very similar. So we're gonna do a different kind. We're gonna do four plus three. It looks easy, doesn't it? Plus two plus dot 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 plus five minus n equals one half n times nine minus n. All right, so we have that one down. And what we're gonna do is check for n, condition one for n equals one. So let's check that and it should equal four because our first term is four. So I'm gonna plug in one half times one times nine minus one. So this will be one half times eight equals four. And so they match, so that's that holds. This is condition one. So now we're gonna have to write everything through with a K. So four, we're gonna check for K plus one. Five minus K equals one half K times nine minus K. Now I'm gonna check for the K plus one. So copy it down again, but then we're gonna be adding this, this term coming up. So we have four plus three plus two plus dot 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 plus five minus K. So I copied everything down and now I'm going to add the next term, which is five minus K plus one. Because everywhere that K was, I put, uh, it's minus K plus one here. So what we're gonna get on this side um, is <clears throat> for this whole thing equals one half K times nine minus K. And then we're gonna add this part, which is five minus one, which is gonna give us what? That's gonna give us four minus K. Gives minus one. And all of this should equal this, and we haven't done this side because I haven't I ran out of room. So this is going to be one half k plus one times nine minus k plus one, which equals one half k plus one times eight minus k. So this is what we want it to look like in the end when we're done with this side. Okay? I see this one half here. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and multiply, like we did in a previous video, this by 2. So if I do that, I'm going to get 1 half k times 9 minus k. And I'm going to uh, put it right like this. Plus 2 times 4 minus k. Now, all I have to do is clean this up. So, because I want the k out here, and I'm going to distribute... plus eight minus K. So we're gonna get one half um, negative K squared. Ooh, I don't like those. All right. Um, plus eight K. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, plus eight K. I was getting confused with my eights. Plus eight. Uh, this is a 2K, so sorry about that. Let me erase that. This is right here is minus 2K. I knew something was wrong. So basically, I could change this, and we're done. So that's plus 7K uh, plus 8. Then all you have to do is factor, and this will give you K plus 1 times 8 minus k. And if you FOIL this out, and a lot of times this is what I'll do. I'll look at what my answer is supposed to be. I'll write it down, and then I'm going to check it after I write it down and make sure it equals that side, especially if you have this negative and it's kind of confusing. Okay, we're going to do one more, and that one's going to be... Um, 
negative 2, this one has negatives, so negative 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus dot 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 minus n plus 1 equals negative 1 half times, whoops, negative 1 half n times n plus 3. Okay, so let's do the easy part. Check for condition 1. Condition 1, when I plug in a 1 for n equals 1, I should get negative 2. So I have uh, negative 1 half times 1 times 1 plus 3. That gives me negative 1 half times 4, which equals negative 2. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and... Um, write everything and check for condition 2 and check for K. So I'm just going to copy everything down but put K and just that's the easy part kinda can be tedious but it keeps it straight. I notice students that don't do it make more mistakes. Now what I'm going to do is let that equal this. Okay, so this all equals, oh, now I have to add the k plus 1, so I think I'm getting tired. So we have negative 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus dot 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 minus k plus 1, and then it's minus, the next one's going to be k plus 2. And that's going to equal negative 1 half k plus 1 times k plus 4. Oh, I hate it when that happens. Let me scoot it over a little bit. All right, so that's going to equal negative 1 half k plus 1 times k plus 4. I'm going to scoot it over. Just adding 1 to each of these right here. All right, that's a 4. Now, this whole thing equals negative one half k times k plus three, and then I'm going to subtract the k plus two. All right, and then what I'm going to do is factor out the negative one half. And when I do that, I'm going to get k times k plus three minus um, two times k plus 2. Alright? I think it's going to be plus. So we want it to be plus. Okay. So now all you do is clean this up because the negative times a positive is negative. So you have negative 1 half times k squared plus 3k. Let's see if I can do this right this time. Plus 2k plus 4. Clean that up even further. You get negative 1 half times k squared plus 5k plus 4. This equals, I'm going to go up here so we all can see it, uh, negative 1 half, and I'm going to factor. This is going to be k plus 1 times k plus 4. And if you want to FOIL it out and check, that does equal that here. And these two equals. So this is... It holds true, and we're done. Okay, the next one we're going to do is um, a little harder. We're going to do two more harder ones, and then we're going to do some that has divis divisibility type rules, like n squared plus n is divisible by 2.